This project extends some work that we've been doing with the Scratch software and online community that we've been developing at the MIT Media Lab over the last few years. With Scratch, kids can create their own interactive stories and games and animations and simulations and then share their creations with other kids around the world. As they do that, they learn to think creatively, reason systematically, and work collaboratively. So over the last few years, we've you know, had you know, hundreds of thousands of kids shared more than a million projects on the website. But we also get lots of uh, requests from those kids for new features to say, Scratch would be even better if it could do this, or why can't it do that? Mm -hmm. So we really want to work with the community to come with the next generation of Scratch to open up even more possibilities for kids to share, collaborate, and work creatively together with one another. So that's the purpose of this grant, is to go to the next generation of Scratch to open up new possibilities. You can think of Scratch as really easy to use programming language. Now, a lot of times when people think about computer programming languages, they think about having to worry where do you put the square brackets and the semicolon, and you need a year-long course. Mm -hmm. But with Scratch, you build up computer programs sort of the same way you put Lego bricks together. So you put graphical blocks together on the screen that controls a bunch of animated characters. So you can make a story or a game, and you control the behaviors of the different characters by snapping these graphical blocks together. So the same way that with Lego bricks you build structures in the world, here you're making your own interactive stories and games, and then importantly you can share your creations with others all over the world. On the Scratch website we have this online community where kids are constantly sharing projects and ideas. A few weeks ago we were excited that the number of projects on the website went over a million projects. Uh, and there's a great variety of everything from games and stories and even newscasts and newsletters where kids are reporting upon their experiences. So on the website, you can see what others have created, and that can serve as a great source of inspiration. You can also share your own projects and get an audience, because when you put your own project up there, other kids will give comments. They'll say, you know, how did you do that? Or why didn't you try this? Or I have an idea to make it even better. And they can actually, if you see someone else's project that you like, you can actually open it up, you can see the graphical blocks that control it, and you can make changes to it to enhance it, to go beyond it, to, to what we say is remixing it. And in fact, on the Scratch website now, about 30% of all the projects are remixes, meaning the kids saw someone else's project and then decided to sort of put their own stamp on it. They might have changed the way the characters behave or added some new characters to it. So kids are constantly adding to each other's work and building upon one each other's work. So we really see the community growing as a community where they're really learning from one another as they extend each other's work. As, as we look at the world today, we see that probably the most important thing for success is not exactly what you know, but how you can learn new things and how you can uh, design creative solutions to unexpected problems. Because we know that in the world today, you know, people are going to, uh, you know, they're going to be confronted with all sorts of unexpected situations, and they need to be able to think creatively. So the ability to think and act creatively is more important than ever before. So what we, what we really want to do is to see how can we help young people develop as creative thinkers. Unfortunately, I think a lot of schools today don't do enough for supporting kids developing as creative thinkers, even though that's one of the most important things you know, to really flourish in the world today. So with Scratch, we want to give kids the ability to develop their own voice, to be inspired by what others do, but then put their own mark on it, express themselves, to share their own ideas with others in the world. One thing that's been exciting to us is that we've seen Scratch being used both inside of schools and outside of schools. In fact, when we first launched Scratch, it was primarily used outside of schools. It was kids at home, sometimes in community centers, sometimes in libraries. Uh, first of all, schools are somewhat slow to adopt new things, and actually we didn't have so many support materials for teachers, but a lot of kids found it, and they just loved creating things and sharing their creations with each other. So there ended up being this very vibrant community of kids, you know, you know working with Scratch, sharing things. That was one way it got into schools. We saw some kids went to their teachers and said, well, instead of just writing up a report for social studies class, can I make a Scratch project? 
and kids start bringing it into schools as their way of presenting ideas and to you know, represent what it is they had learned. Like on the website, there was, uh, we, we saw a project of a kid who they were studying Easter Island, the island off of South America, and he made a little simulation, sort of like SimCity, but simulating the economy and the culture of Easter Island. And that was the way that he showed what he had learned about it. Or there's a classroom, you know, we've seen this, and that was a classroom where he didn't learn about that in the classroom. He learned those own and brought it into the classroom. On the other hand, we see some classes where teachers are now starting to adopt Scratch. Uh, like there's one class, an elementary, upper elementary school class in St. Paul, Minnesota, where the teacher uses Scratch across the curriculum. When the kids do book reports, they do it in Scratch. When they go on a field trip, they write their field reports in Scratch. They have a math lesson, they do their graphing in Scratch. But then a lot of those kids, when they go home, they also make games in Scratch. So they've learned some core skills that they then can use to express themselves across many different ways. So we do see it as very much a type of literacy. Similarly, when we learn to write, we do write reports you know, for a class in school, but we also write a shopping list. We write a, you know, a, a birthday card for a friend. We use writing for so many different things. And we think that, that digital media should be used the same way. When we designed Scratch, we designed it for what we call tinkerability, which means it's very easy to try things out, to experiment, to put things together. Again, similar to the way you might build things with Lego bricks. You just see the bricks, you put them together, and that gives you new ideas. Similarly with Scratch, we try to make it so it's easy to try things out, experiment. A lot of times, your first experiments don't work. One thing that's good is you can see right away it doesn't work. You put a few things together, it doesn't do what you expect, so you try something else. Or if you're not quite sure why it didn't do it, you might look online to see other kids who did similar projects and how did they put their blocks together. So it's very easy to experiment. Uh, as you experiment, you often fail, but the costs of failure aren't so high. It's very easy to recover, to try new things, and to recover from it. And we do see that kids learn a great deal as they keep on going through this iterative cycle of trying it out, experimenting. Sometimes, even if their program works, they might put it on the website and people aren't so interested in it. That's a different type of failure. So it's not just a matter of getting your project to work, but also, how do you make something that's of interest to a community? So that's also what the kids are learning, how to work within a community and do things that are going to be interesting to other people within that community. Thank you.